The future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be very expansive after Episode 9 with the Clone Wars Season 7, two new Star Wars trilogies, and two new live-action TV series. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that a lot of people are really looking forward to right now is, of course, what's to come for the Star Wars franchise after the sequel trilogy ends, after the Skywalker saga is all done and put in the past by J. J. Abrams, what can fans actually look forward to seeing in 2021 and, you know, so on and so forth. So what's really intriguing to me is that these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about the future of the Star Wars franchise when it comes to Disney and Lucasfilm and their plans on what's actually going on with the new Star Wars trilogies, because we do know that there are two new Star Wars trilogies coming by the creators of Game of Thrones and, of course, writer and director Ryan Johnson. Now, now let's talk about Star Wars Episode 10. Now this is where the branding comes into play here for one of the Star Wars trilogies. Now what's really intriguing is that Episode 10 is a type of branding that Disney and Lucasfilm want to go for when it comes to a new project for the Star Wars franchise. However, it's a huge choice between two of these trilogies on whether or not they should brand the Ryan Johnson trilogy as Episodes 10, 11, and 12 or if they should brand the trilogy by the creators of Game of Thrones as episodes 10, 11, and 12. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that the proper thing to do here is to actually choose the creators of Game of Thrones and list that trilogy as Star Wars Episode 10 to begin with. Now, we do know that their first movie isn't going to be released until in or around 2021. There's actually a big rumor out there that we may not even get a Star Wars movie in 2020 at all, and that they're actually going to primarily focus on television when it comes to, of course, the Cassian Andor series, and more specifically here, The Mandalorian, the new TV series that a lot of people are actually looking forward to seeing, because it is going to be a post-return of the Jedi story. So developing Star Wars Episode 10, I think that it should really go over to David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, only because I think that they are far more creative than that of Ryan Johnson. As for Ryan Johnson, you know, of what happened with The Last Jedi and how, you know, a lot of things happened out of that movie and how it caused so much backlash, I'm not quite sure if they should actually make his trilogy, you know, the new chapter films per se, as 10, 11, and 12. That should all go toward the creators of Game of Thrones. And speaking about, you know, David Benioff and D.B. Weiss, I wanted to go on to the subject of what that's actually going to be about. Now, we know that we're going to be learning more about that trilogy, those set of Star Wars films by those creators at Star Wars Celebration. You know, ironically, Disney and Lucasfilm are treating them as their priority right now, and they're going to be—they're actually going to begin work on this thing as early as March of 2019, just around one month before Star Wars Celebration. So by then, they'll probably have a title and/or you know time period of when this movie or movies, I should say, that they are actually going to be based in. So Star Wars Episode 10, 11, and 12—that type of branding—I believe that the creators of Game of Thrones deserves that. When when it comes to their trilogy over Ryan Johnson's. That's just my opinion. That's just how I view things. Uh, let me know if you guys either agree or disagree with that. As for episode nine right now, we do know that they are ending the Skywalker saga. And this is where the big question comes into play. If one of these new trilogies, you know, do end up being called Star Wars episode 10 for starters, is it really going to make sense where it's a continuation throughout the numerical system, right? Where you have, you know, episodes 1 through 9, and then you have 10, 11, and 12. That's not even going to be about the Skywalkers. Would that make a whole lot of sense to you guys? No, they could always expand if they really wanted to, where 10, 11, and 12 is a new beginning, and they could just keep on going forward, you know, with that. They could do like a 13, 14, and 15, where, you know, it's expanding off of a new bloodline or a new family that's very important in the Star Wars galaxy. They could do something like that. 
Honestly, I think that's what they should focus on is creating a new bloodline that is going to be focused within the new Star Wars trilogy that could very well be somewhat of, you know, a different version of Luke Skywalker, Leia, Darth Vader, Ben Solo, you know, kind of just create a new important family in the Star Wars universe. That's kind of like why I love Star Wars is because at the very heart of it all, it really is all about the family tree and of course the family conflict between father and son brother and sister, uh, you know, son and father. We've seen this, you know, ever since the prequels leading into the originals and now in the sequels, and it's what I love about it so much. So let me know what you guys think about the branding of Star Wars Episode 10 for starters, if it belongs to the Ryan Johnson trilogy, or if it belongs to the creators of Game of Thrones. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.